Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu salamu ala Rasulullah. We continue reading from Imam Ghazali's The Jews of the Quran, Jawahir Quran. We have reached in our reading Surah Al-Furqan. Today we read, inshallah, the Jews, the four, the 14 uh, verses that Imam Ghazali chose as uh, as Jews. And of course, uh, the uh, uh, he simply lists the uh, verses uh, as is, and uh, probably he expects the reader to know um, something about these uh, verses uh, and why he chose them as uh, as Jews. And uh, our reading is an attempt to uh, decipher. Um, the uh, the meaning the uh, as a possibility why Imam Al Ghazali just simply get a taste uh, of the uh, meaning uh, of these uh, of these verses of these uh, jewels of course uh, if you uh, are following the uh, Muhammad Abul Qasim's uh, translation we are on uh, page one twenty two. 14 verses from the Surah of Criterion, uh, translated here, Al-Furqan. Uh, criterion, um, uh, criterion is more of a, uh, as a translation, uh, it gives you the uh, criterion, criterion to, uh, to judge, uh, to uh, evaluate uh, something according to uh, something else. And uh, here is the criterion is the uh, Quran itself. Uh, Blessed is he who sent down the discriminating book. Discriminating, um, really, Al Furqan, Yafruq uh, Bain Al Haq Wal Batin. Um, separates between the uh, right and uh, and wrong, truth and falsehood, uh, between guidance and misguidance. Uh, this is why in the uh, Furqan, uh, when uh, Sayyidina Musa was uh, commanded to uh, to uh, hit the sea with his staff, that body of water. Um, the and of course he was basically by leave of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Uh, miraculously, the body of water split into two massive uh, uh, bodies of water, but really as if uh, as if the laws of physics were suspended. In that particular moment, but what I'm alluding to is that this this uh, each side was described as كل فرق كالطود العظيم فرق from so فرق we say ما فرق الرأس in uh, where you uh, comb your hair there's a line there so you separate something from something and the Quran the uh, Furqan uh, separates between guidance and misguidance this is a book that leads to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala other books lead to uh, uh, even if they were in their origin original form um, they led to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they still uh, have uh, uh, altered uh, narratives post revelational uh, added narratives. The narrative uh, there suffered from the vagaries of uh, uh, transmission. In in simple words, uh, the Quran is the uh, final uh, book, final phase of revelation, universal, and uh, it is really sent to all uh, humanity. And this is why the uh, uh, it is for all. Uh, uh, for all uh, but none lil alamina nadira a warning for everyone 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, so the narrative uh, continues the uh, here we speak about the uh, translation. So blessed is he who has sent down the discriminating book that is the Quran al-Furqan to his servant uh, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he, may aw- uh, that he may be a warner to all beings. Uh, I like uh, I like the um, in the introduction to uh, a risala of uh, uh, Abu Zayd al Qirawani um, the that the it with this message with the Quran it sealed a risala wa wa uh, of course, he's uh, uh, was of course Maliki in terms of uh, the school. The school, but the idea is, what was the khatm? Uh, khatm in Nubuwa, We understand the Prophet Sallam is the very last uh, prophet. There will there will be no more prophets. And as a um, a Catholic uh, a priest from Australia. I was addressing a group of uh, uh, priests and uh, sisters and theologians. So I could be simply one of the theologians, but could be one of the priests. But in both cases, he said it. Subhanallah, I was I was giving this lecture at the uh, Tantura Ecumenical Institute, right on the edge between Jerusalem and Bethlehem. And when I spoke about uh, Prophet in Islam, and I uh, spoke about the other prophets. And then uh, I, uh, I said about Prophet Muhammad that he is the last, the final uh, uh, prophet with uh, whom the prophethood was sealed. And that uh, Australian uh, priest or uh, Christian theologian Catholic uh, said that it's, it's true there has been no prophet since his time. And SubhanAllah, sometimes people realize the uh, 1500 years almost. Uh, since the since the uh, advent of the uh, since the beginning of uh, uh, revelation until today, and there is no other prophet, and there will be no other prophet, but not sealing on only the prophethood, the message. This is the seal. This is the last message, and also nazara, the final warning. No more warnings. Of course, you can read it time and again. And just simply allow yourself to to allow the message to uh, touch your heart. And uh, it could be that people are lazy, people are shy, people are afraid, people uh, to follow because of Islamophobia, because of what uh, anticipated uh, or expected uh, uh, difficulties, challenges. There will be any challenges. There will be challenges. Of course, there will be challenges. And uh, the next uh, verse, he has not taken to himself any child. He has not taken to himself any child. He has no partner in the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. To him belong. To him belong the dominion, the universe, existence belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has created everything and has determined its measure very exactly. The measure, uh, quantitative, uh, the measure, space and time, the measure, uh, mass, the measure, the atomic uh, weight, the measure, uh, but there are other uh, uh, creatures that we don't know. Uh, for us, we cannot quantify the angels, the jinn, uh, and the. Uh, but but everything has been, and it does have uh, an exact uh, measure. And if it has an exact measure, of course, it's also limited. That's very, uh, uh, it's limited um, 
in every respect especially uh, i think the uh, the most important uh, if we talk about a message there and uh, the something that could be related to spirituality uh, the uh, fact that uh, every uh, every being in this uh, uh, every created being in this universe uh, has a set time an expiration date an ultimatum uh, a lifespan this temporality is the uh, should change basically one's behavior and outlook it's not it's, if you realize that and you know that this life is temporal doesn't mean that uh, and you should not of course uh, people who are uh, deeply uh, spiritual they know the uh, that life this life is uh, temporary temporary and also for us is short individually it's very 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 short if you look at the universe and the size of this earth is negligible in, but of course uh, it is it, it does still have uh, it has its own uh, it occupies its own uh, space and it plays its own role we are tiny very very tiny whether it's the space or the uh, the time but ultimately uh, one should pay attention to uh, uh, to one's role in this uh, in this life uh, yes um, you know by, by realizing this it doesn't mean that you'll be depressed or that you that life is gloomy or uh, but it's a reminder that uh, no matter what ultimately uh, you could survive calamities you might not but both in both cases uh, people ultimately uh, they go back to uh, to dust they will be resurrected but this temporality is uh, has its uh, uh, its weight its presence then imam ghazali rahimallah chooses a verse uh, so this is the first and second verses, uh, the first two verses of Surah Al-Furqan. And Imam Ghazali uh, goes all the way to verse uh, uh, 40, 40, 40, 45. <clears throat> so from 45 to 49. And uh, there are, of course, other uh, verses. You cannot choose everything, but I think what we will uh, mention after he ends with uh, verse 62, there is something that I would like to uh, share with you, inshallah. So verse uh, 45 now, uh, it talks about uh, natural uh, uh, phenomenon. Do you not see how your Lord spreads out the shadow? Meaning at sunrise, for example. Of course, every phase of the day. Uh, had he willed, he could have made it stationary. Meaning it's the, it will have it the same length. Then, as the day proceeds, we make the sun as indicator of the length of the shadow. Then we draw it in towards ourselves slowly that is we cause it gradually to get shorter he it is who who has made the night a covering for you and sleep a source of rest he has made the day for rising again now it's the shadow is a natural phenomenon uh, um, of course, we talk about the uh, the movement of the of the Earth. Uh, there are several movements, really. The Earth around its own axle, the Earth around the Sun, the movement uh, that creates the uh, seasons, the movement with our solar system. It's 
the Earth does not really uh, rotate around the uh, Sun in a closed circuit, you know, orbit, um, uh, because the Sun is moving, and it's like a spiral, a spiral movement rather than a closed orbit. That, uh, but still, it's uh, it's very precise. It's measurable. And uh, so we move with our solar system uh, around the, uh, the our galaxy, the Milky Way. And we move also with our Milky Way uh, away from the other uh, galaxies. But then it move, the narrative talks about the uh, out of this movement, uh, of one of the movements, of course, the uh, the first one, the uh, the Earth rotating around its own uh, axle, creates the day and the night, where the night is made for uh, for rest, tranquility, uh, um, and also literally. Uh, 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 as if basically uh, you are covered by the night in the way we uh, wear garments a sense of privacy tranquility uh, time out uh, and then you uh, you basically uh, at the at daybreak you uh, you get up and uh, it's a new day and it's uh, a new movement uh, in this uh, in this life a chance to do something good beneficial uh, you shed the uh, laziness uh, all the excuses why not to uh, be positive and why not to uh, contribute of course uh, you take care of yourself you take care of your uh, family uh, and especially I'm talking about uh, men this is not sexist don't expect a, a woman who's uh, pregnant uh, let's say nine months uh, uh, pregnancy and you expect her to uh, uh, be in the Air Force jumping in a uh, parachute or uh, that she will uh, change the uh, the wheel of a uh, caterpillar uh, D9, uh, which is really taller than uh, than the than a tall man, uh, probably with probably uh, the wheel is probably around six seven feet, the diameter. Humanity put a uh, woman in a very difficult situation, which is not the time to uh, to discuss. So the day is for you to uh, spread out. To uh, this does not mean that there are no jobs to um, to do at night. You don't leave the. Uh, uh, emergency room empty at the uh, hospital because it's night. You don't leave your post as a policeman because it's night. Uh, you don't leave the border. You don't really. So uh, life goes on. But this life, because of all the, because of electricity, because of our, um, because of TV, because of our uh, smartphones, um, and probably less than smart users, not in every case, no generalization. Uh, the uh, the gadgets, um, electronics, the uh, the almost almost infinite uh, supply of uh, uh, distraction. Uh, they might also impair our uh, natural cycle and uh, and sleep. And then it the narrative. The uh, next verse speaks about another. Uh, natural uh, uh, phenomenon, uh, wind, uh, and uh, I've said this 
I don't know. And, and at one point, I said that there is difference in the Quran between rih and riyah. Um, in general, rih is when it's the, when there's a punishment with the when the wind. Rih uh, sar saram atiya. Uh, that pollinate the wind uh, when it's gentle uh, it pollinates the uh, uh, whether the basically they uh, cause uh, with their movement uh, they help in uh, causing rain or literally the as uh, helping in pollinating the uh, uh, the trees um, so the uh, at any time there is something that we cannot see with our uh, naked eyes but uh, where, wherever there is uh, uh, air uh, and under normal circumstances you will find that there are uh, pollens in the uh, in the uh, in the air bees butterflies birds they, of course, uh, probably be uh, more than anything else, uh, but uh, the pollination could take place in, uh, at the hands of different agents, if you will, uh, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, 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 established this order in, the, uh, in nature. It's not mother nature. Um, uh, I was listening to... Uh, uh, to someone speaking about uh, the sky is uh, our father and the earth is our mother. Uh, it's good that this wedding uh, never uh, took place. So with this, uh, with this la wind, with, which is lawaqah, uh, uh, rain uh, descends to uh, to uh, to bring to life. To bring to life uh, um, the earth, he it is who sends the breezes as heralds of his mercy in the form of rain, and we send down pure water from the clouds that we may thereby revive a dead land and give it for drink to some of that which we have created, cattle and men in great numbers. ونسق يوم ما خلقنا أنعام وأناسية كثيرة. The next uh, uh, verses, two verses uh, about um, two bodies of water. One is fresh water, uh, and the other one is uh, uh, salt water. He it is who has let forth the two seas. The water of one is sweet and palatable, and that of the other is salt and bitter. Between between them, he has placed a barrier, a system that keeps them separate. He it is who has created man from water, and has made for him kindred uh, by descent and kindred by marriage. Your Lord is all powerful. The uh, like the Maraj uh, al-Bahrain la al in so um, and scholars and others they try to uh, pinpoint where these two bodies of water in fact wherever there is a, a, a river of uh, of course of fresh water uh, going into the uh, into the uh, abadi a sea uh, of uh, salty water um, the uh, almost as if the river creates and of course it does not uh, but this is the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them uh, so the uh, the uh, fresh water will continue to have the the appropriate ecosystem for this say river uh, uh, fish and um, other uh, uh, organisms the uh, uh, the sea uh, 
the creatures uh, do not live in the fresh water in general and the uh, uh, and the uh, fresh water uh, creatures do not live in the uh, in the salty water not only this uh, I mean if you talk about two separate bodies an amazing thing um, near uh, Cape Town in the sea wall there uh, there is a screen split in half one uh, one reveals life in the uh, Atlantic Ocean and one in the uh, Indian uh, Ocean if you will and the uh, the body of water if you uh, if you reach the tip of uh, Cape Hope uh, you, it's, the body of water can see nothing with your naked uh, eye you just you can imagine a line if you will but that screen um, simply reveals uh, it's not an, an interpretation this is the way it is uh, the Atlantic uh, Ocean has uh, larger uh, creatures fewer species and the Indian Ocean has uh, many many species but they are smaller subhanallah and the the water is just simply there is here a, uh, a body of water and here there's a body of water and as if there is like a barrier between between both subhanallah and the uh, And creating the uh, human being uh, from water, mostly we are water. Mostly we are water. Well, there's uh, most of our bodies are water. This is the meaning here. The uh, the last four uh, verses. Put your trust in the one who is ever living, who does not die, and glorify him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, with his praise. Sufficiently is he aware, is he aware of the sins of his servants? Yes, he it is who created the heavens and the earth, and that which is between them in six days, then set himself on the throne, the gracious one, ask, Concerning him, no one, one who is aware. Uh, the six days, of course, in the Quran, you have uh, two uh, verses: uh, a day, uh, a day for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is like fifty thousand uh, days of what they uh, account, what they count meaning here on, on earth, uh, 50,000 earth years, if you will, because the uh, year, if, if the year is, uh, if, if it's measured by, uh, by a planet orbiting the sun, a complete, of course, there are different years in our solar system, and elsewhere will be the same uh, story in other uh, solar systems, uh, other uh, uh, stars it's amazing since mentioning the other planets they uh, have discovered uh, uh, a, f a few uh, uh, planets uh, like earth uh, but the distance between they said that it's, they probably have the same uh, conditions like they are good for us to live there but the the distance between uh, us between earth and, and and these new planets 40,000 light years so back to the uh, to the 50,000 and also um, there is a, a verse about uh, um, the 
uh, the angels covering a distance in uh, in 1,000 uh, years. Um, we don't know uh, the Uruj. Uh, this Uruj was the speed, uh, but the concept of uh, the concept of uh, relativity there. Uh, I think it's uh, um, it's reasonable to uh, think about this, but definitely uh, you know these six days. But the ثم استوى على العرش. It is of course uh, appropriate, majestic. Um, uh, no, uh, no spatial. Uh, occupation and nothing is like unto him uh, space and time uh, do not really uh, uh, are not appropriate to de define Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is beyond this uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, but you can compare this to the biblical narrative where the, after the six days uh, God basically rests on the seventh day there are um, verses in the Quran that, uh, uh, of course, the uh, after these six days, um, uh, nothing of this. Of course, it's uh, like uh, a counter, uh, a counter uh, uh, narrative against Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala needing a rest. Then, uh, after all these uh, signs, after so mentioning the Quran as the Furqan, the uh, natural, the day and night, the uh, uh, phenomenon, the uh, the two bodies of water, one salty and one uh, uh, fresh sweet water, uh, not mixing, and uh, ultimately the creation of the. Uh, heavens and the earth, then uh, people are asked to uh, prostrate themselves uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When it is said to them, uh, prostrate yourselves before the gracious one, they ask the disbelievers, and what is the gracious one? Shall we prostrate ourselves before whatever you bid us? It increases their aversion. Blessed be he who made constellations in the heaven and has placed it in it an illuminating lamp and the moon giving light. He it is uh, the illuminating, of course, uh, lamp is the sun and the moon reflects the, the light. He it is who has made the night and the day to follow each other to each other. For him who desires to take heed or desires to be grateful. Uh, Subhanallah. I, 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 this is it ends with uh, verse 62. Uh, these uh, 14 jewels, 14 verses. But I thought, uh, I thought, uh, uh, after 63, uh, uh, precisely when we uh, uh, talk about the uh, the uh, verse 70. Um, those who do not associate, uh, I mean, ultimately, uh, the, the narrative begins with Abid Rahman, Aladim Shahada, Hona, with Khatam al Jawina, Qalu Salama, until we reach basically those who uh, do not associate anyone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or the Nadu on Allah Hila and Akhar, or the Nasir, the Haram Allah of the Hak, or the Zunu, if I had that Kirka Atama. Uh, so those who do not associate anyone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they do not really uh, commit, commit uh, the uh, uh, homicide, they don't kill uh, the, you know, the, the soul, the uh, human being, the innocent uh, person, uh, except when it's bilhaq, self-defense, for example, when I is known, they don't commit adultery. And whoever uh, does these things will, of course, uh, be punished. And the verse that I thought 
you know, why not include this particular verse number 70? إلا من تاب وآمن أو عمل عملا صالحا فأولئك بدل الله سيئات حسنات وكان الله غفور رحيما uh, so there will be punishment uh, double the punishment on the day of judgment uh, eternally uh, being placed uh, to uh, in this uh, uh, in hellfire uh, humiliated there except those who repent they believe so you you need the um, you need pure monotheism. It will save your neck. Pure monotheism, repentance, wa'amila amalan salihan, and does good deeds. So you follow the, your sin with good deeds. It's not it's not an equation whereby go ahead, do commit sin. No, if you uh, in a moment of weakness anger uh, whatever is the the crime the sin uh, remember that the uh, gates of repentance are open and not only that the sin will be wiped out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change their uh, sins into good deeds if they do these these three things uh, you repent you believe you do something good. Can Allah I thought that this particular verse should have been there in the uh, in the amongst the Jews, but of course, uh, Subhanallah. Suffice it, Inshallah, for this particular session. Until the uh, next one, uh, we'll read uh, from Surah Shara, twelve verses. Until then, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Shadallah, Alhamdulillah, Sabrullah, Alaykum, Assalamu Alaykum, Wa Rahmatullah, Wa Barakatuh.